Hey everyone, and thanks for tuning in to another one of our videos. My name is Kate, and I will be your host for today's episode. We've got a pretty informative video coming up, so we hope you'll watch all the way to the end. Stick with us, it's gonna be good. Today, we are taking a quick look at every single model in the Cat Trike lineup. That's right, we're gonna talk about standard features, adjustability, comfort, and we'll give our opinion on what each model is capable of and the kind of rider it's best suited for. Before we continue though, there are two things you should know about the Florida-based Cat Trike manufacturer and their impressive models. Number one, Cat Trike has figured out steering geometry. They've got it nailed. All their models feature direct Ackerman compensated steering and we love that they have a tendency to self-center while you ride. These trikes exhibit very minimal brake steer, which means that if you happen to only pull on one brake lever, you should be pulling on both brake levers, your trike won't go veering off in the direction of the lever that you pulled. Number two, standard features. There are a lot, so I need you to focus. All cat trike models come stock with a computer sensor mount, a flag mount, and a rear view mirror for the left side. They also feature cat trike's wrist rests, an integrated accessory mount on the derailleur post, include a rear fender, and use clipless flat combo pedals. Besides the Eola, all models feature a 30 speed drivetrain with an FSA Gossamer triple crank up front, paired with a 10 speed cassette in the back. They're set up with TT500 bar end shifters, Avid BB7 disc brakes on the front wheels, locking brake levers, and they run Schwalbe Marathon racer tires. Every cat trike also features an adjustable indexed boom that's easy to move in and out with the quick release levers that are on the boom clamp. As far as these standard features are concerned, there are some slight differences with the Eola and the 700, but I'll be sure to mention those when we get to those particular models. I told you it was a long list. I think we're done with it though, so good thing you can always rewind the video for reference in case you forget all the features. <laughs> now, just so we're all on the same page, this is not an in-depth review of each model. You will probably still have questions at the end, which we will be happy to answer. We have done a few comprehensive reviews on some of the models and we'll include links to those so that you can see them either click at the top of the screen or down in the description. All right, I think that's it. So without further ado, Utah Trikes presents the Cat Trike lineup. Price low to high, lowest price model to the highest price model. Kicking things off with the Cat Trike Eola. Featuring Cat Trike's space frame design, 20 inch wheels all around, and an 11 speed drivetrain, the Eola is Cat Trike's only sub $2,000 model. It's reminiscent of earlier Cat Trike recumbents, but you'll find a lot of their new features here as well. It has all those standard features I just mentioned, with the exception of the wrist rests. You'll also notice that the derailleur post is shorter because it's not actually for a derailleur. It's there so you can use that integrated accessory mount if you want to. Also, unlike the other models, the Eola uses a grip shifter for that rear cassette instead of the bar end shifters. A specific feature that's unique to the Eola is a small cargo bag on the back of the seat frame to carry spare tubes and tools or snacks. You could fit lots of snacks in there. One other thing to mention is that this model is only available in three colors, Storm Gray, Sky Blue, or Go Mango. The Eola handlebars are also different from other models. While the other models feature three-way adjustable handlebars, the Eola has a one-piece solid handlebar that can be adjusted to move in or out. We've done a more comprehensive video on the Eola, so if you want to know more about this model, click the link at the top of the screen or follow the link that's down in the description. This trike has the same 
padded seat mesh as other models that keeps you cool and comfy on your rides. To sum up, the Eola is an entry-level trike that's great for new riders or for riders looking to get a second trike to bring someone along for the ride. The 42-tooth cog on the front paired with the 11-speed cassette will handle most climbs and will still let you get some speed on the downhill. It's lightweight, comfortable, and for less than two grand, it's a really good place to start. Up next, the Cat Trike Pocket. The Pocket also has the solid space frame design, 20 inch wheels all around, and is great for smaller riders. Starting at 2150, the Pocket will handle hills like a champ, and its narrow track makes it handle like a go-kart. It's small enough that it can be sized for taller children, as well as being a great adult trike. So if you're wanting to bring your kid to join in on the recumbent fun, the Pocket is a great option. It has a breathable mesh seat that keeps you cool on long rides and we love it as a daily commuter or a get out and exercise kind of trike, which you can do in quarantine, triking. Our next model is the Villager. The Villager features the highest seat height of the Cat Trike models, 20 inch wheels all around and a wider, more stable wheel track. It starts at 2550 and has increased in popularity over the years as an excellent touring platform or daily commuter. The higher seat height and adjustable seat angle allow you to sit more upright and enjoy the view while you ride. Not to mention that padded seat mesh is comfortable and is secured with Velcro, so if it does get too hot, you can actually take off the padded portion and the mesh underneath will keep you cool. We love the Villager so much that we actually made it the platform for our Fat Cat V3 and our four-wheeled beasts, the Cat 4 Quad and the Fat Cat 4, which we've shown in previous videos. The Villager is an awesome everyday ride or a leisurely touring trike. You can throw on a rack, pannier bags, and you are ready for some long triking excursions. Coming in at the same price, the Expedition features the space frame, a larger 26 inch rear wheel, and a low seat height. This is one of Cat Trike's most popular models and for good reasons. It's a sporty, laid back, aerodynamic trike that can rip down the pavement. Along with all the other standard features, the Expedition comes stock with Cat Trike's adjustable headrest as well. The seat angle is fixed at 37 degrees, so if you want to sit a bit more upright, this is not the trike for you. Speaking of the Expedition, actually, this trike was the platform for our first ever Annihilator trike, the X-Series, which is beefed up with larger 24-inch wheels in the front and a huge 29-inch wheel in the rear. If you want to see a video on the Annihilator trikes, follow the link at the top of the screen. The Expedition is a tried and true long distance touring machine, but if you need to satisfy your need for speed, you could play around with some gearing options, throw on a faster set of tires, and suddenly you've got a speed machine that is ready for action. Up next, we have the Cat Trike Trail. This folding model features 20 inch wheels, which keeps the gearing low for hill climbing. Cat Trike's folding mechanism allows you to fold the trike without removing the seat. And it's got two roller wheels on the frame that makes it easy to get your trike from the sidewalk to your car in no time. There's also a kickstand so you can stand the trike upright while it's folded. You'll find the same folding features on the 559, the Road, and the Dumont, which are all models that we'll get to soon. 
The trail is a great option for riders who are constantly on the road and need something that can be easily transported. Because of how compact it can be, it's a great trike for any and all adventures. Next in line, the Catrike 559. This is a folding model with a 26 inch rear wheel starting at 3150. We've loved the 559 since it was released in 2015. It's the new Catrike 559. 559? 559. This trike is classic comfort combined with long distance performance. It has the same efficient folding frame as the trail, but has that larger 26 inch rear wheel that makes it a great touring model. Like the trail, it's easy to transport and can tag along with you on your cross-country adventures. The folding feature also means it takes up less space if you need to store it for the winter. Next, the Rode AR. This is a full suspension folding model with 20 inch wheels all around that starts at 3550 and it's been discontinued. I know, it's crazy. With the increased popularity of the Dumont, which we'll get to in a moment, Catrike decided to end production of the Rode AR as of January 2020, but it's still available for sale and is still an excellent model to consider. Catrike's patented front suspension, paired with a RockShox Monarch air shock in the rear, takes the edge off bumps and vibrations in the pavement, making the road a great option for a daily commuter or a weekend adventure trike. The smaller rear wheel keeps the gearing low, which is great if you are climbing a lot of hills. The Catrike 700 is appropriately named after its 700C rear wheel. It's built with racing components and has a hollow carbon triple crank set up front. The 700 starts at 3950 and is Catrike's premier racing model. It's been constantly refined over the years for one purpose, speed. If that's your number one consideration, look no further. The 700 can hold its own against any road bike and with its mesh seat is arguably one of the most comfortable racing recumbents available on the market. If you remember the long list of standard features from the beginning of the video, you'll also remember that I said that there are some differences with the 700. For starters, there is no rear fender or locking brake levers. Instead, the 700 is set up with an Avid BB7 disc brake in the rear that's operated using a friction lever. It also comes with Catrike's adjustable headrest, and instead of Schwalbe Marathon racers, the 700 runs the slicker, faster Schwalbe Durano tires. This trike was created with speed in mind, and it will hit higher top speeds than you could reach on any other model. Finally, we've arrived at Catrike's most expensive and fully loaded model, the Catrike Dumont. This is a full suspension folding trike with a 26 inch rear wheel that starts at 4150. If you want to see our comprehensive review of the Dumont, follow the link at the top of the screen or down in the description. The Dumont is Catrike's premier touring model and for good reason. The patented front suspension paired with the RockShox Monarch air shock in the rear absorb bumps and jolts from the pavement. It's an incredibly smooth ride and because of its folding capability, it's easy to fit in your car and take with you to all sorts of places. Like we discussed with the trail previously, Catrike's folding mechanism is impressive and incorporates the seat frame, chain managing 
kickstand and roller wheels. The Dumont also has the same padded mesh seat featured on other models. It's comfortable and breathable. Combine that with full suspension and you will be able to ride for hours and hours on end. That's it for the Catrack lineup. Hopefully you hung in there with us till the end and hopefully you feel like you're a bit more familiar with the different Catrack models. Keep in mind though, we only talked about the stock options, which was a lot. We could spend hours and hours talking about ways for you all to upgrade your trike with different gearing, changing wheel sizes, a custom paint job, or even electric options. Feel free to check out some of our other videos that go over things like the pinion, the roll off. We also have a video that covers our Bafang and hub motor electric systems. We'll leave those links down in the description. A little bit of news too, in case you haven't heard, Cat Trike is also working on releasing their Bosch electric option. That system will run you somewhere between $22 and $2,500 on top of the base model. Thanks for watching everybody. If you've got any questions, please drop us a comment and we will do our best to answer. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and turn on your notifications to be the first to know about our latest content. We'll see you guys in the next video. Largo de mi vida, por favor. Hello, everyone. Hello, everyone. That was yeah, better. That was Your closer. voice is really deep, though. Yeah, I got it. Say that ten times fast. Wrist rest, wrist rest, wrist rest. Que no se ofendan, no? Los monolingües. Dylan doesn't have any news, but here's something for y'all. Somebody in Dylan's apartment complex got the coronavirus. Oh my God. Um, Somebody's got the Rona. And it's not Lewis. Thank goodness. <laughs>